What's going on you guys? Pep Platypus here and it's time for another installment of my top 10 anime and manga as of 2015. And this is number 2 and that series is Dragon Ball, specifically the manga. And what are you guys looking at? You guys are looking at a time lapse of me drawing Goku in my art style. Just something I threw together very quickly, kind of like the old drawings I did in one of my older videos. You know, it's not one of my, you know, like crowning, like yes, this is what I would hang on my wall or anything. But, you know, just like a quick, you know, sketch or whatever. So... Yeah, hopefully you enjoy that more than staring at me, but anyways, let's talk about Dragon Ball. So with Dragon Ball, it's kind of hard to even talk about it, I mean, what is there to say? Everyone's already said all the praises you can say about it. Um, well, I suppose not everybody, there are still a lot of fans out there that think it's an all-action series, or they like to think that Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z are two separate series, even though the original manga is all together as one. I mean, there's a lot of misconceptions about the series, but I'm not really going to spend my time debunking all of that stuff, because that could honestly be its own separate video, and that's not what these videos are about, but yeah, Dragon Ball is, it, it is an amazing series, it really is, it's a very important series. I was also going to make a video called, um, for the 30th anniversary, I was going to make a video called uh, Why Dragon Ball is Important, and... One of the things I was going to touch on is how influential the series really is and really go in depth on all the things it really did influence that have like really changed the course of anime and manga in both Japan and the US and yeah it really did a lot but uh, I won't go too much into that stuff here but you guys know that it, it did do those things and uh, you got to give it credit for that but also on top of that it is a very unique series I've seen some people try to say that it's, you know, like the shonen prototype, and that it's kind of archaic now by today's standards, because all these other series have learned from it and improved upon it and done it better. I disagree. I still think Dragon Ball is leagues above series like Naruto in terms of plot and character development and just action in general. I think it's better than Bleach. I think it's better than a lot of these series. And this isn't coming from nostalgia. Yeah, I kind of grew up with the series, but... The only episodes that stick out to me as a kid I remember watching was, like, the very first time I ever watched it was one piece of, like, the Goku versus Frieza fight when Goku was a Super Saiyan. I watched, like, I think the History of Trunks movie, and I watched the second Cooler movie, and I remember the, uh, what was it, the, um... An episode where, like, Goku gets taken out by Fat Majin Buu, and, like, they think Gohan is dead... And that's, like, all I ever saw as a kid. Um, I, I probably saw more, but that's really all I remember. So it's not like it's a series that I have a ton of nostalgia for. In fact, I really don't even like the original anime that much, or the English dub, as you guys may already know. I've mentioned that before. So, yeah, but I think just as a series, just reading it, and, like, rereading it recently, it really does hold up, and I do think it is better than those series. But not only is I do I think it's better, I do also think it's more unique than a lot of series that come out. You know, I really don't think it is this, you know, archaic prototype, because what other series, what other shonen battle series can you name where the main character starts off as a kid, and you go through multiple stages of his life, all the way to adulthood, where he has children, and then that keeps going to where even the side characters that have been introduced, like Vegeta, then they have children that become characters. Like, how, how many series can you name that have done that? And how many can you name that are mainstream or very popular or, you know, it's still a very unique concept even to this day that a lot of series do not touch. And it's very interesting, at least to a lot of good character development and a lot of new characters and just creating sort of a, a legitimate saga and a legitimate history and a lot of families. And it's just really, really cool. And it's, and like I said, it's very unique. Um... The fighting, pure martial arts with energy blasts, you know, it's simple, but at the same time, I think a lot of people do, you know, not give Key the credit it deserves. I mean, it is, it's basically like Nen from Hunter x Hunter, except you can't take it quite as far, but I mean, it does a lot of the similar things. You know, you have like Enhancer, well, you can make your blows hit harder, you can fly with it, you can create energy discs, you can create energy beams, you can create an energy beam that you hold in one spot, and then release later. It can do a lot of different things, and uh, I think in a series like Hunter x Hunter, it's just like, well, we're going to explain that it does all that stuff. One of the things that Dragon Ball did is it made all that stuff very subtle. It was just kind of like, yeah, you just kind of mention every once in a while, like, yeah, we're 
focusing our key and sharpening it in certain spots to delete to deliver a lot of damage while conserving our energy they just say that every once in a while and you don't get these lengthy explanations you don't get these lengthy character backstories it's explained to you you understand what they went through but you don't get the lengthy backstories and that's fine I mean I like lengthy backstories but it's still again it's unique to not go into all that stuff so yeah Dragon Ball to me just really well handled for a series that was written on the fly without being planned out uh, it doesn't have as many obvious plot holes I mean it has plot holes but it doesn't have as many obvious ones as you would expect it really does stay about as consistent as it, as it can and it's very uh, very well written I'm just trying to think of anything else to say uh, because you know and I love other authors like the guy who writes fairy tale he clearly tries to write fairy tale without planning it out and it fails miserably but when you see Dragon Ball it's like no the androids come back the River and River and Army wants revenge we saw Android 8 before and he continued from there and made Androids 19 and 20 and 18 and 17 and all that and it's like no that actually feels like foreshadowing even though it wasn't and all that stuff you know all that stuff's really good you know oh our home planet got destroyed by a meteor but oh no that's just a cover story Frieza actually did it like that stuff's really cool it feels like foreshadowing, it feels planned, but it really isn't, and I really admire that in a writer that can do that. So, yeah, Akira Toriyama is a huge influence on, like, everything shown in, uh, at least modern day, and, yeah, I mean, I think, I think, um, I'm trying to remember, I think Hiro Mashima and Ichiro Oda and, oh my god, how am I forgetting his name, Masashi Kishimoto and Taite Kubo all have cited Akira Toriyama and Dragon Ball as an influence, and those are, like, four of the biggest names in anime and manga nowadays. And I'm not telling you anything you don't know or you couldn't already guess, but it really does go to show the huge influence the series has had. But yeah, I love the series, love the characters, love the character development, I love the uniqueness of having so many story arcs going through so many years of their lives. No other series I've really seen ever do that. You know, maybe you can get a series where it starts them off as a kid and there's like a big time skip and they're an adult, but not going through all the different years that Dragon Ball goes through. You know, it's I still haven't seen another series to do it, and I'm not saying they have to, and I'm not saying they're bad or less good in any way because they don't do it. I just find it interesting that Dragon Ball did it and did it so well. You know, the child that Goku has is not just a carbon copy of himself. I mean, a lot of the fans want him to be a carbon copy of Goku, but... He isn't a carbon copy of Goku, and that's so interesting. And, yeah, I really, really love Dragon Ball. Easily the number two on my series. Uh, it stands above the rest of them pretty high. But it's not quite my number one, and you guys already know what my number one is, and I'll talk about that one in my next video. I really wanted to get all of these done before January was over, but just time got away from me, and I was busy a couple of times, and stuff happened. You know, I'm putting this up on a Saturday, and then Sunday is going to be... Dragon Ball Super, so, yeah, so in the beginning of February, I will get that video done, the uh, number one, and also the Shaman King Volume 2 review, I said one a month, and I didn't do one in January, but is it really, like, is it, it, it sucks, but is it, is it hard to believe that Pet Platypus missed a couple of deadlines? It, it's not very, is it, you know, but anyways, with all that being said, I absolutely love Dragon Ball, um, it's one of my favorite series, and it always will be, probably. It probably will always stay at the number two spot. Um, and, by the way, when I say Dragon Ball, I'm really... You probably noticed I haven't mentioned uh, Super much in this video, if at all. That's because I am talking about the original manga. The start of the series when Goku meets Bulma, all the way up to the conclusion of the Majin Buu saga and Goku going off with Oob. I'm talking about that Dragon Ball. That is the Dragon Ball manga. That's what Akira Toriyama wrote. That was start to finish. Super might be canon, it might not be. Battle of Gods and Resurrection F might be canon, they might not be. Whether they are or not, I'm talking about the original story as it was written. And uh, not that the continuations are terrible or anything, I just kind of take them with a grain of salt because they are just the elongation of a series that was already done. So, yeah, with all that being said, thanks for watching this video. Tell me what you guys thought of, think of Dragon Ball in the comment section below and what's number two on your top ten anime and manga of all time list. You can tell me in the comment section below. You can follow me on Instagram or add me on PSN. I'm Pat Platypus on both. You can give this video a thumbs up. That would help me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already or if you like what you've seen here. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.